In my last video, we talked all about how to use hashtags for organic Instagram growth. And during that video, I promised to share the strategies I'm using now to grow my Instagram account to a thousand followers. But don't worry, if you've already hit this goal, most of these tips will serve you even as you grow to 5,000, 10,000 and beyond. As you're growing on Instagram, one of the first things you need to ask yourself is why you want to grow. Because if you're just interested in the vanity metrics of large numbers, then there are a lot of other strategies that you can use, including outsourcing and third-party apps that will build your numbers quickly and easily. It's very simple to spot accounts that are doing this. All you need to do is look at their numbers and their followers. Most often, you'll see that they're following more accounts than are following them. You'll also see that the number of accounts they follow are very high. But if you watch these accounts over time, you'll see their followers increase while eventually their following decreases dramatically. How does this happen? Basically, they follow thousands of accounts and then unfollow them. You'll also notice when you take a look at their followers that there are a lot of private accounts and seemingly inactive accounts with very few posts. These are often bots and ghost accounts. Generally, there's little thought to niche and the focus is almost entirely on numbers and not on engagement. If you're curious and want to explore more about who you know that may be using these strategies, there's a great website called Social Blade where you can actually see behind the scenes. It's a little disappointing to find out that an influencer you admire who teaches on YouTube, for example, how to grow organically, is actually using the follow unfollow method as their main driver. So we're actually on Social Blade right now. And this is the account of somebody who runs a social media marketing agency. And so he, this is his personal account and he uses this follow unfollow practice for himself as well as for his clients. And as you can see here on Tuesday, August 20th, he followed 849 people. And of those 849, on the same day, 281 of those people followed him back. And so this is how the follow unfollow strategy works. And I'm not saying you should do this, I'm just explaining what it is. So then you see the next day he unfollowed 743 people. And another 30, 32 followed, probably of people that were left over from that distance. And then you can see he's just continuing to unfollow. And so some of these that he's on, oh, you know what I'm thinking actually, see, I don't, I don't use this strategy, so I don't know exactly how it works. But what I'm thinking is that these unfollows, some of these are actually from a previous round of following that we're not seeing here. So basically there's a big round of following and then from that and from a previous round of big following, we get these increased numbers of followers. But simultaneously, we are unfollowing people so that at the end of the day, the number of followers is high and the number of unfollowers is even higher. You'll find a link to Social Blade in the description and you can also watch this video, which is how I learned about Social Blade in the first place. Okay, so let's say that although you do want to grow, you also want to grow with integrity. Following and unfollowing people doesn't feel right to you. I know it doesn't feel right to me, just following and then purposefully unfollowing when they follow me back. And when you think about why you want to grow, it has less to do with numbers for numbers sake and more to do with actually getting people to find your music and or other product or service offerings. So in my case, I want to introduce people to my singing and acting, but I also want to introduce them to my coaching services. I'm thinking about real engagement, not followers for followers sake. And I encourage you to do the same because while it's true that casting is starting to look at our social numbers, it's far more exciting to develop real relationships with real people who will want to come to our shows, add us to their playlists and tell their friends about our music. To achieve this, you'll want to find as many ways as possible to introduce yourself. 
One of those ways is hashtags. People search for hashtags around topics that interest them. People will find you by the hashtags you use, and you can find them by searching the hashtags that interest you. So definitely watch my last video, which was all about hashtags. So what else can you do? Once you find someone that interests you, probably by using a hashtag, you can comment on their posts with an actual sentence rather than just an emoji. Remember, you're trying to build real connection. So say something honest and authentic. A question relating to their photo or caption is especially useful because it starts a conversation. You can also DM them and start a conversation there. A lot of the magic happening on Instagram is happening in the DMs. But I promised to share my number one strategy for early growth that is effective but still feels in integrity to me. And I have to admit that nothing beats the follow. I've tried a lot of strategies and I noticed that the surest way to gain followers is to follow them, either following them first or following them back. Now there is a danger in following back everyone who follows you and it has to do with the algorithm. I go into that in this video. You may also be wondering why you need to follow them back since they already followed you. And that's because a lot of these accounts are using the unofficial follow for follow method I'm about to explain. And keep in mind that a fair number of these accounts that follow you are also doing the follow unfollow method. So please never feel badly that you're losing followers every day. These were not real followers. They're just people who are simply growing their accounts and either they unfollowed you because you didn't follow them back or because they were always going to unfollow you. So what am I doing right now to grow to a thousand? And I'm pretty close. This is the number I had at the time of this edit. Basically, I currently see following someone as an introduction. It's like at a party. I say, hi, I'm Fiona. And then we immediately have a conversation or we kind of drift apart. So first, I find either an account similar to mine or look at one of my favorite hashtags. Then I follow 20 to 60 accounts and wait. This is a much lower number than the people who are doing the massive follow and then unfollow everyone. They are usually following in the thousands. With my method, typically two to four people will follow me right back. At that point, I immediately go to their account, drop a couple likes, and look for something meaningful to say to them, either on one of their posts or in their DMs. This is me making an effort to continue the conversation and to thank them for following me back. You may have noticed that some people will actually thank you for following them with a DM. Often these are auto responses. I don't like the literal thank you for following me because they don't really feel authentic. So if I keep following people, how is it that I'm maintaining an average of more followers to following? And that's because I do go back through every few days and unfollow the accounts that didn't follow me back. For me, this still feels authentic and organic you may have a different opinion. But by thinking of the follow as an introduction, this makes sense to me. If I'm at a party and I introduce myself and the person ignores me, then what else would I do but move on to someone else? But how do you figure out who isn't following you back? And this is unfortunately a little tricky because Instagram doesn't want you to know and is making it harder to use the third-party apps that provide this information. So please keep that in mind and use these apps at your own risk. These are the same apps that the social media agencies that promise to grow your account really quickly are using to mass follow and unfollow thousands of accounts at the same time. So if you really want to go that route, you don't actually need to pay someone to do it for you. You can do it yourself. Here are some of the most popular follow unfollow apps, and I'll leave links to these apps in the description below. I'm also including a link to an interesting article about follow unfollow limits in terms of how many accounts you're allowed to follow per day. Now I'll show you exactly what I do and how I do it. Okay, so this is how I actually use Cleaner, which is what I use. I go to my followers and then I, I refresh it just to make, make sure, actually not my followers, I go to my following. I refresh, then I go to the very bottom and you'll see that the more followers you get, the more impractical it becomes to do it manually the way that I do it. But for now, 
I feel more comfortable doing this manually because I know that Instagram does not actually want me using these apps. Now I'm in cleaner and I do the same thing. I refresh it and these are all the people that I'm following. So I go to the bottom of that and wherever it has a green little doohickey, that means they are actually following me back. So it's, I'm following them, they're following me back. Then I go here and I see, okay, these yellow ones mean, and it actually says there, doesn't follow you. So I go, okay, let's see. I'm going to now go back to my account and find one of those ones that is not following me. So you see this one that says has the hashtag? That's an easy way of finding. I see something that stands out. Well, I actually want to keep following Women Crush Music because that's one that I had actually chosen. But one of these other ones is maybe somebody that I didn't know personally that I was just reaching out to introduce myself to. And there I'm, I'm okay with unfollowing. So I'll, I'll go to one of those and I might check out and see, hmm, you know, was this someone I really did want to follow or I didn't, you know, it's not that interesting to me. And I say, okay, well, this is a flutist. Maybe she's not so interested in singing or singers. And I go, well, I introduced myself to her and she didn't say hi back. So I guess I will, you know, end that potential relationship for now. And so this is how I use cleaner to tell me who is following and unfollowing me with Instagram. Now, another thing that is super important to this strategy is making sure your account looks great and provides value. It's like inviting someone you've recently met over to your house for dinner. This is a new friendship and you certainly want your house to look clean and inviting. Keep in mind that after you follow someone new, if they don't have the policy of immediately following or not following back, they will instead go straight to your account to see who you are. This is another reason it's important to keep posting consistent quality content that speaks to your ideal audience. So make sure your bio, feed, and highlights reflects your niche and the kinds of people you want to attract. In my case, this is my fellow singers and actors who will find quality inspiration and advice from my captions, as well as those who like my style of singing, legit Broadway with a classical twist. So it's clear that by remembering the social part of social media, you can gradually and effectively grow organically. Now, I mentioned that this is the primary strategy I'm using now to grow to a thousand followers. However, once I hit about 1500, I'm definitely going to need a new strategy because I don't want to look like one of those accounts I showed you earlier where the person is clearly following and then unfollowing just to get the followers. So look out for another Instagram growth video once I actually figure out how I'm going to keep on growing. Now, if you're an introverted performer type like me, all this talk of parties may have worn you out. And that's because while you may enjoy being on stage and engaging one-on-one -on -one with friends, you need a fair amount of time alone to refuel. And social media can often feel not only draining, but also intimidating. But ultimately, social media is about being social. And if you want to leverage it to grow your organic fan base, then you've got to find ways to make real connections. So hit the notification bell because in my next video, I'll be focusing entirely on how to dominate on social media, even if you're an introvert. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments below what other topics you'd like me to cover to help you further your singing career. And as always, go out into the world and let your light shine. You deserve to be heard and the world deserves to hear you.